What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Configuring Cisco Threat Response. I'm Adi Shankar from Cisco Security Integrations Team, and in this tutorial, we'll walk through configuring the Firepower module in Threat Response. Firepower devices can be managed using the OnBox Firepower Device Manager or using a separate appliance called Firepower Management Center. Both management methods can send events directly to the cloud or via syslog server acting as a proxy. This video will focus on sending events directly to the cloud from Firepower Management Center. Firepower software provides a plethora of security features, including application control, intrusion prevention, URL filtering, malware protection, and Talos security intelligence. Threat response can harness these traffic handling capabilities to dramatically cut the time and effort needed to detect, investigate, and remediate cybersecurity threats. A quick look at our agenda here. First, we'll see a basic investigation before configuring the Firepower module. Next, we'll do a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the module configuration. Finally, we'll return back to our original investigation after adding the Firepower module to see the added functionality. Let's check out a basic investigation in the Threat Response Investigate UI. We can see that I'm investigating one public IP address of 3.234.70.253. To the right, in the Modules tab, we can see that the Umbrella module has provided one judgment. Based on the color of the icon in the Relations graph, we know this IP has an unknown disposition. Down below, the sightings timeline confirms there have been zero sightings in my environment. Let's begin our configuration in the FMC UI. Firepower integration with Threat Response began in version 6.3. I recommend at least version 6.5, as this version brings the ability to send intrusion, security intelligence, and malware events directly to either the North American or the European cloud. On the About page, we can see the FMC is on version 6.5. To confirm the FTD version, select Devices, then Device Management. We can see that this is also running version 6.5.0, and it has four smart licenses applied. This brings us to our next item. We need to check on the status of our smart licenses. Select the gear icon, then select smart licenses. From this page, we can see the FTD is consuming the licenses as expected. In the top, we can see my virtual account name is CTR and that I'm registered and authorized. Since Threat Response uses your smart account to register the devices to the cloud, this integration is not supported in evaluation mode. For those using classic licenses, specific license reservation, or satellite smart licensing, an alternative option is available. For now, let's double check we are using the same smart account in Threat Response and the FMC. From Threat Response, select the Settings icon in the top right. Then select Devices, then Manage Devices. This opens a new tab in the Security Services Exchange portal where we can see I already have a few devices registered. For those who are looking to set up the Security Services Proxy as a syslog server, the Download and Installation Guide can be found by selecting the Tools icon in the top right and then choosing Downloads. For our purpose, we just need to confirm the appropriate smart account is being used by selecting Link Accounts. Here we can see that the CTR Virtual Account is already linked. If there is no account linked, you must have administrator level privileges to the smart account to complete this step. Now that we are confident, let's get back to the FMC to register our device to the cloud. Select the gear icon, then select Integration. This step is as simple as toggling the cloud event configuration and hitting Save. In order for a successful registration, the FMC needs to be able to reach api.sse.cisco.com colon 8989. If it's not feasible for your FMC to reach the cloud, the alternative option is to use Cisco Security Services Proxy as an on-prem syslog server to forward events to the cloud. However, this will limit you to intrusion events only, so we recommend opting for a direct integration. Back in the Security Services Exchange portal, refresh the device list to confirm a successful registration. Don't worry if you don't see your device immediately, as it may take a minute or two. We can see that the FTD is registered, and it shows as FMC Managed. Right above, the FMC is also successfully registered. To modify auto-promotion of events to Threat Response's Incident Manager, Select Cloud Services. Select the gear icon next to Eventing. Intrusion events are always promoted to the Incident Manager. I have also opted to promote malware and all security intelligence events. Now we are ready to complete the final piece of this integration by adding the Firepower module to Threat Response. 
From Threat Response, select Modules, then select Add New Module, add a Firepower Module, and leave the name as default, then hit Save. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. We have completed our not-so-complex configuration in a matter of a few minutes. It's time to see how the addition of this module has enhanced our original investigation. Returning back to our original investigation, we can see that we now have sightings for the IP address in question. In the Modules tab, I can see that our newly added Firepower module has provided one sighting. I now see a target IP of 192.168.243.64 in the Relations graph. In the Indicators dropdown, I see a malware indicator for what seems to be a malicious Office document. Now that we have seen the powerful features this integration brings to the table, I encourage all Firepower customers to take advantage of Threat Response's effective investigation capabilities. Beyond just Firepower, I encourage all cybersecurity professionals alike to use Threat Response to more efficiently conduct security operations. After all, it's free for Cisco security customers. Last but not least, I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more tutorials from Cisco Security Integrations team.